Let's look at a uh, crushing question, how to do crushing. A community centre is to be built on a new housing estate. Nine activities have been identified for this building project. The activity network shown below shows the activities and their completion times in weeks. So we can see here that activity A takes four weeks, activity D takes one week, Activity G takes three weeks, so on and so forth. So now we need to do forward scanning and backward scanning and get our boxes nice and neat so we know how long this project will take. So let's have a look at how to do that. Okay, so go and put your boxes for LST and EST. So your earlier start time, your later start time for this. And we'll start off with the grey boxes, which is our forward scanning from start to finish. So we're going to start here at zero and we're going to go up. So zero plus four gives me four. So just look in the left hand side first. Four plus one gives me five. Down here, um, zero plus four gives me four for that one. Uh, four plus four will give me eight for that one, but I've got to take the longest way to get there. So if I go down here, I'm going to get four plus three gives me seven there. 7 plus 4 gives me 11, so that's why 11 goes in there instead of the 8 guys, because there's two ways to get there, forward scanning's got to be the longest way to get there. So we get to 11 to here, 13, so 11 plus 2 is 13, plus 6 gives me 19. So I've got 19 there, start and finish, 19, 19, now I go backwards, okay? So now, 19 minus 6 gives me 13. 13 minus 3 for that one gives me 10. 10 minus 1 for that one gives me 9, as you can see there. And then um, 9 minus 4 gives me 5, but I'm going to put the 5 there because backwards we've got to get the smallest, the smallest way to get back. So now I'm up to that point. So now I'm at 13 minus 2 gives me 11. 11 minus 4 gives me 7. Now you can see 11 minus 4 that way will also give me 7, but 7 minus 3 gives me 4. So I've got a 7 there, but I've got to put the 4 in there because I'm going to the shortest way backwards. And then I get 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. See how you had 5 before, but we want the smallest way to get back, and that's 0. And that's how you do this part. So what is the critical path in this situation? So we've got to look for... Our float times on each of the activities where it's uh, zero, that'll give us the critical path. So zero minus zero is zero there. So you can put a zero there. There's a zero here. That's zero, that's zero, that's zero, that's zero. That's zero. So now we know that this float time here is five and that has a float time of five as well. So our critical path is exactly this way, like this, all the way through to here, down to here. So if you had to say what the critical path was, our critical path for this question is B, C, F, H, H. I'll just write it out neatly. And then I giving us 19 weeks. That's the critical path. Let's have a look at the next question. Okay, the builders of the community are able to speed up the project. Some of the activities can be reduced in time at additional costs. The activities that can be reduced in time are A, S, G, yes, G is there, A, C, E, F, and G, which I've done there. So they're saying that they can reduce these activities. However, guys, G... A and E are not in the critical path. Because you remember from the previous question, the critical path went that way. So in this situation, these ones are not going to reduce any time for our project. It's only these two that will work. Okay? So in order to uh, write an answer for this, you can just write down that A, E, and G would not result, okay, they're the ones in early completion, 
in early completion and that's how you answer that question there because they ask which of these if reduced in time individual would not result in earlier completion of the project a and g would not result in early completion of this project quite simple okay the next question the owner of the estate uh, the owner of the estate is prepared to pay the additional cost to achieve early completion the cost of reducing time of each activity is five thousand dollars per week the maximum reduction in time for each one of the five activities A, C, E, F, and G is two weeks. So that's the max, right? So we know now that we can work with these two, okay? And we can reduce them by two weeks maximum. So that means in this situation, C will become one and F will become two because we've reduced it by two. Okay, so now we're going to have to do the forward scanning and backward scanning again in order to um, get a new completion time for this project. And then we've got to work out the cost, obviously. So let's crash something that's on the previous critical path. So we're going to crash in this situation C and F by 2 each, as you see that I've changed these numbers here. So we're going to have uh, some new numbers in our boxes here. So if I start here at zero, I'm gonna to go to four here, plus one is five there, plus, so let's do this bit here, we get to four over here, we get to five over here, we get to five plus two is seven for that one, but I can also go that way, so it's got to be eight again, the longest way to get there. Then we get down to this one here, eight plus two is 10. 10 plus six is 16. So we do the backward scanning as well. We'll get 10 there as well. 10, remember 16 minus six is 10. 10 minus three gives me seven for that one. I'm going to get 10 minus two gives me eight for that one. 7 minus 1 is going to give me 6 for that one. I've got um, in this one here, 8 minus 2. That's going to give me 6 for that one. And I've got 8 minus 4 is going to give me 4 there. And 5 minus 1 give me 4 there as well. So that becomes 4. And that one becomes 0. So at this stage, I have a new critical path. So my new critical path is this straight line going this way. Okay, so the new critical path for here is going to be now B, E, H, and I, giving me 16 weeks. Remember before it was 19, now it is 16. So in the first part of the question, when we started doing it, we had 19 weeks to complete this project. Then when we reduced C and F by two weeks each, because they were on that critical path, we got down to 16 weeks. Now, E is also on the, on the uh, uh, reduction list. We can reduce E by two weeks, but what I want to do is just reduce it by one week for the moment. So I want to show you something. So let's reduce this by one week, so that becomes three. So when we do that, we also now get new critical path. So let's have a go at doing forward scanning and backward scanning for this. So if I'm going to start here at zero, I'm going to go to four there. I'm going to go to five there. I'm going to go to four over here. Four plus one will give me five to that point. Now five plus two will give me seven there and four plus three will also give me seven here. So do you see that? So it doesn't matter which one you take. So that's going to be seven. Seven plus two is nine. And then nine plus six gives me 15. So it actually has reduced it. So we do our backward scanning now. That becomes nine. Nine less three will give me six here. There'll be a five here. 9 minus 2 gives me 7 for that one there. Then I've got 7 minus 2 gives me 5 there. 7 minus 3 gives me 4. And 5 minus 1 also gives me 4 for there. That'll be 4 there. 
and then that'll be zero here. So now I've got two new critical parts. I've got that one, and I've also can go this way. You see? So now, by reducing it by one, this is what it's caused. Two new critical parts. So I can have, I can have a B to E to H to I, which gives me 15 weeks. And I can also have B to C to F to H to I, which will also give me 15 weeks. So this has given me two critical parts and reduced it by one. Now, I could have reduced it by a further one week because I was told in the previous question that it's by a maximum of two weeks. So if E was two, watch what happens. So if E was reduced by two weeks to E2 like this, what's going to happen is you're going to get four plus two, which will give me six, right? So that's six, but then you've got seven there. So you've still got to take seven. So this E now does not become on the critical path anymore. So it doesn't make sense. So that's why you only reduce it by one. So now uh, to answer this question up here, determine the minimum time in weeks for the project to be completed. Now that the certain activities can be reduced in time, that was 15 weeks. We worked that one out. So write down 15 weeks for that. Now it says determine the minimum additional cost of completing the project in this reduced time. So what did we reduce it by? C, we reduced it by two weeks. F, we reduced by two weeks as well. And E, we reduced it by one week. So in total, we reduced them by five weeks. Five weeks. So at the moment, five weeks, and it was going to cost an additional $5,000 per week. Five fives are $25,000. It was going to cost that guy. So determine the additional cost for completing the project in the reduced time. It will cost them $25,000. Okay, guys. So that is the end of this question. Um, so it takes a while to explain it, but uh, hopefully you understand that and see how you go with your own questions in 15E.